Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 2006 President's Day Tournament. I'm Ken Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions, and we have a boys under 15 match just underway here. We have the 91 Extreme White in the white jerseys, and over in the black, we have the team out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. So Cedar Rapids in black, Extreme in white. Ball rolls here to the near side, number 13 for Cedar Rapids, Ben Liesfeld. We'll get you the rosters for each of these teams here in just a minute. We don't want to miss any early goals. That happens a lot. Start reading these rosters before you know what's going on. And somebody scored, I look up and I've missed it. And then everybody's wondering where all the credit is given. It's a big mess. Anyway, the ball will go out across the back line over on that left half of the field and we will have a goal kick coming up for the extreme and for the extreme since they're down here near their net we'll get to their rosters number two is Jordan Diana number three Steve Boyle number four Matthew Scourow which is Matthew Scourin number five Quentin Memkin number six Matthew Cauldron number seven is Kyle Sadler number eight Zach Souls, number nine, James Cohn. Number 10 is Eder Delgado, number 11, Claude Renner, number 12, Sean Falgren, number 14, Durley Gibson, number 15 is Sean Fallon, number 17, Jeffrey Martinez, number 18, Tito Texidor, number 23, Samuel Schleier, and the keeper is Fernando Ortiz, number 19 is Obed Fuentes. Head coach is Stephen Cook. The assistant coaches are Peter Liebrook and Mark Lowe. The manager is Chris Diana. So there's the roster and front office, if you will, there for the 91 Extreme White. Number 11 for the Extreme, bringing it across, Claude Renner. And six giving chase, Matthew Cauldron. He's kind of bumped out of view there. And his teammate number two, Jordan Diana, gets the ball and clears it out. For Cedar Rapids, the Cedar River Soccer Association out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Their roster looks like this. Number three is Pat Montag. Number four is Joe Fryricks. Number seven is John Kibbers. Number 10, Felipe Carrasco. Zap ball into the backfield of the extreme. Renner going up for the header. The keeper's going to have to come out. I right, just keeper for Cedar Rapids, Jill Gorella. And it's the extreme penetrating that backfield of. Cedar Rapids. Center pass right into the hands of Gorilla. He makes a save. Everybody up towards midfield. So getting back to the Cedar Rapids roster. Felipe Carrasco, number 10. Drew Russell, number 12. Ben Liesfeld, number 13. Sheldon Basil, number 17. Charles Barden, number 21. Phil Vermey, number 33. Christopher Crone, number 35. Ian Christensen, number 37. Ken Bader, number 28. Reed Galbraith, number 27. Cole Oschenbrenner, number 50. And the keeper, as we said, Joel Gorella. The manager is Paul Montag. The head coach, Paul Kibbers. And the assistant coach is Sean Howe. And there you have it. Remember, this is a boys under 15 first round match. Two 40 minute halves, no overtime. So there won't be any overtime played here today because it is just a play-in game. Which may be the first game of the day for, or of the tournament for these two teams. Pace of the game pretty quick as it moves over to the far side as the extreme try to center it. Number 17, Jeffrey Martinez, keeper. Gorilla looks on, and Martinez has the ball taken away. Stays in play, number 12 there for the extreme, Sean Falgren. Now the ball at midfield, and Cedar Rapids 
We'll shoot it towards the net, and that's where the keeper, Fernando Ortiz, is for the extreme. Ball on the far side. 21 giving chase for Cedar Rapids. Charles Barden. Extreme will take that shot. It goes out across the back line. That will be a goal kick for Cedar Rapids. Number 13 there, you see him. Ben Leesfield. And on the goal kick there keeper nice strong kick up towards midfield header once now back towards the midfield line number 12 there for the extreme Sean Falgren Falgren again getting the ball but a whistle and that penalty goes against the extreme and Cedar Rapids now with the goal or not the goal kick but the free kick here on the near side Lee Feld number 13 I believe that was off Tito Texidor, number 18, for the extreme. And now coming across field, number seven, Kyle Sadler. Sadler running into the corner. He's going to be pushed, gets back to the ball, battling with number 28, Ken Bader. Moves into the middle of the field. And Tito Texidor shoots it towards the net. Keeper pushes it away, but we get a whistle, and a red-yellow card is coming out against the extreme and I believe that's Renner guilty there not sure well he's not sure what he did referee was And so the kick here coming from Joel Gorella. Gorella up towards midfield. Ball in the circle. Now comes back to the left half. Number 17 moves it over to the far side. That was Jeffrey Martinez. And now the extreme want to move. Martinez again near the corner. Now he wants to move to the far side. Has the ball taken away. But he gets right back to it. Number four, Joe Frerichs. And that penalty against the extreme. Yeah, the ball belongs to Cedar Rapids. And the extreme player on the ground didn't agree with that call. Or actually, he was being a little sarcastic, maybe. And the extreme will have the free kick over on the far side. As they get things going up towards the net. Header towards the net. Nice save by the keeper, Joel Gorilla. Renner, I believe, with that header. Gorilla right in the right place at the right time. That ball was sent right to him on the header. And so denied right there are the extreme. They set up a beautiful play. They had the right idea. The header was there. But Joel Gorilla with a great save for Cedar Rapids. We have no score. We've been playing about nine minutes, just under 10 minutes here in this first half. About 30 minutes to go. Remember, these are 40 minute halves. Beautiful weather here in Arizona. Nice days. Gets a bit chilly at night right now. That ball soars down the near sideline and out near the corner. Renner gave chase, but the ball is well out. Falgren, number 12. Now it's into the middle. Moving over to the far side, up towards midfield, now across midfield. And the ball out here on the near sideline. And number 13 
will put it into play for Cedar Rapids. That's Ben Leesfield. And as soon as Leesfield gets the ball into play, a whistle, a penalty against the extreme number 28 now with the kick. Ken Bader. Ken with a nice shot on the header. Cleared across the net or across the front of the net here to the near side and out. Renner saves that from going out, pushes it into the middle. And now Jeffrey Martinez, number 17, upfield pass, teammate looks like number 10. Iter Delgado towards the net. Ball deflected out across the back line by the keeper, Gorilla. Gorilla. And that should be a corner kick for the white team for the extreme. And Sean Falgren with the left leg will take the corner kick. Here it comes, low to the ground, header across the back line and out. And so dodging a bullet right there, the defense for Cedar Rapids. As everyone will retreat up towards midfield as they'll have the goal kick. And number 50 into the match now, Cole Ashenbrenner. Kick just below midfield. Now rolls over into the corner. Now we're going to have a battle. He had Claude Renner in number four. Joe Frerichs for Cedar Rapids. Joe clearing it up towards the far side and now across midfield. Here comes the team out of Iowa. Stop. Nice little touch pass. Moving into the inside. All the way here to the near side now. Header trying to change direction was Lees. Was number 13, Leesfeld. Ball out off the extreme, now put back into play quickly. And running it down 50, he'll just send it over to his keeper, Cole Ashenbrenner over to Joel Gorilla. Nice cross field pass, Leesfeld. Tries to go upfield with it, but runs out of angle. And the ball goes out here on the near side. And Kyle Sadler, number seven there for the extreme. I think he will put it into play. He's retrieving the ball anyway. Actually, the ball retrieved by his teammate Tito. And Tito will put the ball into play, number 18. Ball again going towards the net. Number 17, Jeffrey Martinez. Couldn't get the shot that he wanted. It's scooped up by the keeper, Gorilla. And let's see that whistle by the referee. Hitting the ground, number 37, Ian Christensen for Cedar Rapids. And that penalty goes against the extreme as Christensen ate some of that dead grass there. Almost like sawdust, these playing surfaces out here today. Very dry fields. In fact, they're in one of the worst droughts Phoenix has had in quite some time. Hasn't rained here in a little over four months, I believe. And it's evident here on these fields. They sure could use it. And Cedar Rapids trying for the center to the ball. Number 10, Felipe Carrasco takes out a couple of players with him. Ball still in play. Jordan Diana upfield. Now the ball inside the circle. Nobody with it yet. Still nobody. Collision. Finally, Cedar Rapids upfield. Oh, and just as they try to move it into the middle, the extreme take it away. 
We played 15 minutes, 25 minutes to go here in the first half. Reed Galbraith, number 27 on the far side, collecting that ball up. Number 12, Drew Russell also there. Ball just rolls outside the circle up here to midfield, running it down and it does go out. Leesfeld just couldn't get there in time. Right up field with that shot on the ground. That was number six, Matthew Cauldron. Easy scoop up there for Joel Gorella, the keeper. Quick whistle there by the referee. That will go against the extreme. And nice field position for the Cedar Rapids squad. Number 27 with the ball on the ground. Ian Christensen. Kick down the middle, blocked away by the extreme. Nice job. Still comes back to Christensen. A little bit to the far side. Now back into the middle. Two more players hitting the ground there. This has been a pretty physical game so far here in the first half. Cedar Rapids. Loses the ball momentarily. Still have it now in front of the net. Can the white jerseys clear it away? And they do. Renner, number 11. Claude Renner. Falgren. Oh, his center pass just to the wrong side. And that will allow Cedar Rapids to clear it away. Falgren again here on the near side. Right behind him, his teammate Jordan Diana. Diana again moving to the far side, stripped up, and the ball cleared out, and still belongs to the extreme. Coming up on the 18 minute mark here, so we've played 20, we have got 22 minutes to go here in the first half. Left leg blocked. Now in front of the net, Renner. Another one, Falgren can't get his leg on it. Cleared up here across midfield. Extreme again though. Sent it right back to the left half. Shot with the left leg, blocked by Liesfeld. Another attempt, no good. Kyle Sadler will come out for the extreme. You see him there. Did a good job while he was in. Number 14 now. Over to the far side. That was for the extreme. Durley Gibson. Is that ball saved from out? No. The last touch by the extreme. The ball belongs to Cedar Rapids. Number 28, Ken Bader. And right off of Gibson. Just about to just about to the midway point here in this first half. No score. Diana battling for the ball. Number two over there on the far side. Jordan able to clear it away. So Jordan Diana doing a good job out there. Felipe Carrasco, number 10 for Cedar Rapids. Trying to provide the defense there on that far side. Ball belongs to the extreme as they will be able to put it into play. Renner. Renner with his back to the net now wants to make his move. He'll lose that ball. It's cleared away, but still belongs to the extreme here down close.
And that time the ball will go out across the back line. And let's see, last touched, I believe, by Cedar Rapids. So we should have a corner kick coming up here for the extreme. And for the extreme over on the far side, the corner kick. And it should be Falgren again. And it is. So Sean will set up with that corner. Nice looking kick. Set it in front. Header by Renner. We'll find the back of the net. So Renner the first time didn't go through, but the second time it happens. Claude Renner takes the corner kick from number 12, Sean Falgren, and is able to put it into the back of the net. He went up high, placed it perfectly. The keeper, Joel Gorella, couldn't come out or couldn't go up anymore any further than he had. Did all he could. And so off the corner kick, the 91 Extreme White with the lead, 1-0. Ball across midfield, held up, number 10, Iter Delgado. And that ball out across the back line. So now with that goal score, let's see if, you know, a lot of times, obviously you look for the response of the other team to see if they will recover from that and, and get back into the ball game. But also, you know, the team that scored. It, you know, one goal can also serve as a wake-up call to the team that just scored. And that can start your offense going. So let's see which of these two teams answers the bell here, so to speak. They might both come out after that score ready to go. And the ball out here on the near side. Here on the near side on 35 and 33, ready to come in. That's number 33, Phil Vermey, and number 35, Christopher Crone. Tito Texidor, number 18. Nice throw in in play. Ball in front of the net. Header won't go. Falgren there. Cleared out. Number 14, now he wants a shot. Durley Gibson can't quite make it. The defense comes over. Nice job for the Cedar Rapids squad. Diana. Jordan Diana will lose it. Gets back to the ball quickly. Nearly changes the direction. And out from the backfield. Cleared over to the other side by the extreme. Number four. Inside the circle now for Cedar Rapids. That's Joe Frericks. Here to the near side. Save from going out. Number 12, Drew Russell. Russell with the pass. Comes back to the ball. Loses it. But his teammate there, number 37, helps out. Ian Christensen. Ian now quick to the ball. Ball right at midfield. Claude Renner, number 11. Center pass inside the circle. And they'll just push that to their keeper, Fernando Ortiz. And the wind starting to pick up here today. That's one thing we've had in Arizona. There's no rain, but there's plenty of wind. Helps to stir around the dirt and the dust and the dead grass. <laughs> kind of a, you know, last year, President's Day tournament uh, we had some rain and had some of those games were washed out now in front of the net Gibson number 14 just about a half a step behind couldn't get a shot on goal there but last year I think you had an entire day or day and a half washed out due to the rain here in Arizona no sight of clouds at all here this weekend but I tell you this it does get extremely chilly at night and you see now the the wind blowing across the field from the near side to the far side corner kick just a little bit long on the ground now finally pounced on by the keeper Joel Gorella good job right there keeps his team down only one Twenty-eight upfield. Ken Bader, and that ball is retrieved by the keeper Ortiz. Ball 
Ball saved on the far side. Now down the sideline. And running out of room for the extreme. I believe that was number 17. And substitutions now. Number 12 coming out. Falgren. Number 18 also coming out. Tito Texidor. So I think we have actually three new sets of legs there for the extreme. Number 23, you see him there. Samuel Schleier. Steve Boyle, number three in for the extreme. You see him right there. Ball at midfield. 1-0 lead for the extreme. Ian Christensen, number 37, over on the far side. His shot goes out. And we've got about 15 minutes to go. We played 25 minutes here in this first half. Goal kick coming up for Cedar Rapids. And the ball goes out on the far side. Number three there for the team out of Iowa, Pat Montag. And it was off the extreme. Christensen, center pass cleared away. Still in play though. Cedar Rapids in near the net. Can they get a shot? They come back out high into the air near the back line. And finally on the header, cleared out over to the far sideline. Still in play, number 33, Phil Vermey there. And it goes off of the extreme. Ball rolls towards the back line. Cedar Rapids. Ho, oh, center pass is going to be long. It'll roll here to the near sideline. And nobody will get there. Last touched by Cedar Rapids. You have number seven there. John Kibbers. So now the action again on the left half of the field. Number 15 for the extreme giving chase there, Sean Fallon. And that ball is out, will belong to Cedar Rapids of the Cedar River Soccer Association. I should say the Cedar River Soccer Association of Cedar Rapids. Number 23 for the extreme. Samuel Schleier inside. And there's a collision there. No whistle by the referee. Ball up towards midfield. Diana trying to take it away, and he does. Back to the left. Another trip right in front of the referee. No whistle. Christensen. Now the play really getting physical, and the referee is going to have to Take some charge here pretty soon. There's going to be some hot heads out there. And the longer this game goes with the score 1-0, it still remains that way. Towards the end of this match, you're going to get some people determined to put a ball into the net. Renner on the far side. Defended by Joe Freyricks, number four. Ball near the corner. And out across the back line. And it belongs to the extreme. Renner. Oh, he misfires on his center pass right there. Goes back into the corner. Still in play. Number 16, number 33 there, too, for Cedar Rapids. Phil Vermey. Ball in play. And again towards the net. Oh, right in front of the net. Number three, Steve Boyle. Just couldn't get a shot off. Big, huge break right there for Cedar Rapids. And that shot is wide. It's out. Number six with the shot on goal, Matthew Cauldron. And we've played 30 minutes, so 10 minutes to go here in the first half. Kick right at midfield. Now it's still in the circle. Number three to the ball, Steve Boyle. Boyle to Renner. 
Renner gives off to Matty Cauldron. Defense still tough right now for Cedar Rapids. They've only allowed the one goal that was out that corner kick and the header by Renner put the ball into the net. That's where we stand 1-0. Under 10 minutes to go here in the match, or here in the first half. Action again on the left half of the field, and that's what we've seen here in the first half. Cedar Rapids, they've put some pressure on the defense on the other side defense of the extreme and taking some shots on goal but most of the action taking place here on the left half of the field in the backfield of Cedar Rapids and it's been the extreme putting on that pressure Schleier now it's centered off of Boyle Boyle back to the ball just a step too late cleared up here towards midfield and before the end of this half, let's see if Cedar Rapids can try to put something together, try to get a tying goal. At least get some shots on goal in an attempt to tie. But right now, the Extreme doing a great job on defense, spreading the field, cutting up those passing lanes, not giving Cedar Rapids too many options so far here in the first half. Fernando Ortiz clears the ball on a couple of bounces across midfield. Christensen with the header, number 37. And let's see the ball sailing towards the back line and on the header over to the far side and out. And it does belong to Cedar Rapids on the far side. Ball rolls over to the far side. It goes out. We have about seven minutes to go here in the half. Right there again. There's the keeper. Joel Gorella. Joel's done a good job here today. Just that one header by Renner. Over his outstretched hand, manages managed to get in there. Kibbers, number seven, has the ball sneak away from him. But he looks ready here on the near side as his teammate will put the ball into play. And there's number 17 for Cedar Rapids, Sheldon Basil. And Sheldon will put the ball into play over to Christensen, back to Sheldon. Center pass to number three, Pat Montag. Referee still letting a lot of contact go out there here today. Ball still in play. Again, on the left half of the field, Christensen trying to bring it across mid. And he does. And just like that, though, the extreme carry it back the other way. And if you're a Cedar Rapids, you've got to feel pretty good about yourself so far. Even though you trail by a goal, you've allowed the other team basically a lot of looks. You've given the ball, them the ball in their own backfield. You've left it there for a lot of minutes here in this first half. You only trail by a goal. And you haven't, you know, six, five, six minutes left here in the first half to tie this one. And number six coming out for the extreme, Matthew Cauldron. And that ball goes out across the back line. Let's see here. We will have a corner kick for the extreme. Kick. 
Kick high into the air. Header is going to be just wide. Now that ball was just a little bit too long to attempt that header. They made contact. It goes out. Sets up the goal kick for Cedar Rapids. Again, Cedar Rapids in black. There's the keeper, Joel Gorella, right there. Under five minutes to go here in the first half. Fernando Ortiz. Again, over on the far side is where he angles the ball on that kick. They like that far side, the extreme. Christensen battling for the ball. And good move there as it goes off of the extreme. Nice job by Christensen, number 37. Pat Montag battling for the ball on the far side. Now it comes out. Extreme, put it in the middle. Now they'll fire the ball into the backfield of Cedar Rapids where the keeper, Joel Gorella, will scoop it up. Under four minutes to go here in the half. Again, a 1-0 lead for the extreme. Now the action moves here to the near side. Sheldon, number 17, Sheldon Bezel. Back into the middle now. Can Cedar Rapids get a shot? Christensen back into the middle. Nice job, shot is gonna be deflected high into the air. The keeper makes a stop. That ball is deflected by Ortiz's own teammate. He nearly wound up over his outstretched hands, but the keeper able to make the save. That would have been a nice break and a score for Cedar Rapids right there. Got under three minutes now remaining here in the first half. And number 27 for Cedar Rapids. Reed Galbraith really just being hammered over there on the far side. The ball finally went out. And let's see the extreme looking to control it as it comes down. Number three, Steve Boyle. Nice left-legged kick upfield and right into the hands of the keeper, Gorilla. And so now we have to just watch the referee as unofficially now I have two minutes to go here in the first half. So time being kept, of course, on the field by the referee. Falgren, number 12, here to the near side to Sh Schleier, number 23, Schleier. Upfield pass, now over to the far side, and out. Nice high kick towards the net and going up high. Joel Gorella, the keeper, nice job. I mean, he was Air Jordan right there, so high. Ball across midfield. Again, there's number 27. Very active today, Reed Galbraith for Cedar Rapids. Ball at midfield. Cedar Rapids spreading the field. Now they'll go down the near sideline. Number 28 will run this one down. Ken Bader, but the defender there for the extreme, take it away. And that whistle should sound any second now. Ball rolls down the sideline. Christensen giving chase there. Now he moves it into the middle. But there's the whistle, and that is the end of the first half. So a 1-0 lead. Oh, no. We're still playing there. There's the whistle there. Signifying the end of the first half. It's a 1-0 lead for the extreme over Cedar Rapids. I'm Ken Gonzalez, George Landry Productions. We hope you enjoyed this exciting first half. We'll be back with the second half in just a minute.
Ken Gonzalez for George Landsman Productions. We're back for the start of the second half of this boys under 15 first round match featuring the 91 Extreme White in white going up against the team out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, the Cedar River Soccer Association. They're in black. It's a one nothing lead for the Extreme. And now both sides obviously switched here. So it's Extreme moving from left to right now. There's Claude Renner, number 11. Now inside, Ian Christensen been very busy today. Number 37 for Cedar Rapids. The CRSA 90-91 squad. So an early break here as the corner kick will go to Cedar Rapids from the far side. And let's not see if they can't tie this game. It'll be a right-legged kick. Here it comes. Nice job centered. Oh, it's just a little bit long. Rolls here to the near side. So just a little long on that center pass. Your center shot. And the extreme will clear it out here. Ho oh, overrunning the ball, number 10, Ider Delgado, but he comes right back to it. He'll be tripped up right here by his counterpart, Philippe Carrasco, number 10 for CRSA. So the free kick here inside the right half of the field. And on a few bounces into the hands of the keeper, Joel Gorella. Carrasco, little touch pass right down the middle. Here in the near side, streaking number 21, Charles Barden. Barden's shot is going to be scooped up there by the keeper. Ortiz. Handball right there in front of the ref. And so the ball goes to Cedar River Soccer Association 90-91 squad. Here number 50, right at midfield, Cole Ashenbrenner. Here to the near side to his teammate, number 21, Charles Barden. Barden into the middle. Ball bounces free. Oh, Christensen. Streaking from midfield just with a misfire there. The timing was off by about a split second. Ball in front of the net. Cleared away by the extreme. And coming out in the second half, I'll tell you this. The team out of Iowa, out of Cedar Rapids, they want it. They're coming out with some fire right now. Let's see if they can score. They trail by a goal. And we've been playing just about four minutes here in this first in this second half. 40 minutes per half. Number 18 there, Tito Texidor for the extreme. Renner now into the middle. And number six, Matthew Cauldron tries to send it back the other way. So a corner kick for the extreme. The far side. See what they can do. Sadler looks on, number seven. Corner kick a little bit long. A couple of players go up for the header, just can't make it happen. It goes out across the back line. And that will be a goal kick for Cedar River. Renner. Oh, he just couldn't get his leg on the ball right there. It bounced just a little bit too high. He thought it was going to stay on the ground. And it bounced up. Right, 
Extreme putting the ball into play from the far side again. And that ball right into the hands of the keeper, Fernando Ortiz. So the ball at midfield. Number nine for the extreme, James Cohn. Going up into the air, another nice save for the keeper. Gorilla. Done a great job. I mean, just that header by Renner put in in the first half off that corner kick is all the Gorillas allowed, that one score. But it's held up so far. It's a one nothing lead for the extreme. Getting back now, number four, Joe Frarix on the header. Renner now with it. Renner stops, changes directions. Now a long cross field pass here to the near side. Teammate gets there, Jordan Diana. Jordan center pass taken away, but right there his teammate number six, Matty Cauldron. Now upfield in front of the net. Cleared out here to the near side by that Cedar River defense. Number 12 with a little touch pass there off his foot, Drew Russell across midfield. Out of the circle. Let's see if Cedar River can set something up from behind, taking the ball away, number 17, Jeffrey Martinez. But right there he is, Ian Christensen. Again, we call his name. Streaks towards it at left-legged kick, right into the hands of the keeper. So Ian Christensen out of nowhere came up with that one and made a shot out of something. Turned nothing into something there. And the keeper makes a nice save, but Christensen Really trying to push start this team of his. Goal kick now for Cedar River. Ball again on the right half of the field. There's Christensen again from behind. He's going to be whistled there for that foul. As Jordan Diana hit the ground. Diana here on the near side. Shot towards the net. Cleared away by the keeper. I'm not sure if the keeper touched that or if it was a header by his own teammate brought it back. Nevertheless, Gorilla with a nice job there. Another one towards it at Gorilla on the ground again makes a save. And he's just keeping his team in there, giving them an opportunity to tie this match. Drew Russell, number 12. Pat Montag. Montag getting the ball just a step too late. In the circle now across. Number 50, Cole Ashenbrenner. And the ball is out here on the near side. Number 21 looking on Charles Barden for Cedar River. And there's Jordan Diana to put the ball into play. Yeah, I think we have a substitution on the far side for the extreme. Diana putting the ball in. Rather quickly, number 17 taken away, Jeffrey Martinez. Now here come Cedar River up towards midfield. Ball near the back line, header. Oh, it's going to be just wide of the net. And the extreme. Nearly come up with another score right there. Hey, 
Ball on the ground. Up to Cole Aschenbrenner. He'll lose it though as Martinez takes a shot on goal and it's going to be wide. Gorilla was there. And Joel Frerichs trying to move it upfield here on the near side now. Across. And there's Ian Christensen, number 37. Upfield, Frerichs again gets around Diana. Upfield, number three. Oh, collision from behind, number five, Quinton Memkin. And that goes against. Watch, well, it just went over to the keeper. And he boots it up across midfield. Ashenbrenner, number 50, across midfield now. In the circle. We've played a little bit over 11 minutes here in this second half, so just about 30 minutes to go, a little bit less, about 29. It's a one goal game in favor of the extreme Christensen near the back line. He's going to be pushed. A whistle by the referee, and the ball belongs to. Looks like the extreme. Kick comes here to the near side by Ortiz. Finds his teammate, Eder Delgado. Delgado over to Diana. Saves it from going out here on the near sideline. Oh, Renner was sticking to the net. Just couldn't get to the ball. He'd have been one-on-one -on -one with Gorilla, the keeper there, if he would have been able to connect. Ball down that far sideline and goes out. So the action slowing down just a bit over on that far sideline. As each team having a little difficulty controlling the ball before it goes out. So the, the SC Del Sol Soccer Club here in Phoenix, they're the ones who put on these tournaments, the Desert Classic, the President's Day Tournament. President's Day Tournament 2006. This is the 27th annual President's Day Tournament. Cedar River with the ball. Now they move into the middle. Cross field. Upfield pass to Ian Christensen. Ian. Now he moves inside. Sees a teammate. Passes it over. Now the header here to the near side. And... Running out of room on the far side is a black team, but it was last touched by the extreme. So I think we have a corner kick coming up for Cedar River. And number 27. Reed Galbraith there. And let's see who will take the kick. I believe that's number 13. Liesfeld. Ball is long over to the other corner. Cedar River. Back here to the near side again and again pushing it into the middle. Ball is out here on the near side and does belong to the extreme. Number 12, Drew Russell puts it into the middle. 
Now the extreme across. Extreme still clinging to that 1-0 lead here. Keeper Gorilla coming out. Cedar River putting the ball into play from the far sideline. These two teams really, you know, they're so evenly matched. And, and you know, you look at the score, and it's 1-0. In the backfield, number 17, Jeffrey Martinez. And he'll run out of room, run out of angle, really. And the ball lands into the hands of the keeper, Gorilla. He'll just roll it out to the far side. But as we said, these two teams very evenly matched. 1-0 game. Nice job by each keeper. And it's extreme with the, just the scales of balance tipping to their favor just a bit because of that lead. And the defense really suffocating this Cedar River squad. Martinez desperate to get a shot on goal, looking for some help, going four on one. He's not gonna get any answers there from the referee. Ball belongs to Cedar River. Well, it should. Reed Galbraith with the free kick. And on a couple of bounces into the hands of the keeper, Ortiz. Again, Martinez wants to head to the net. And again, the defense will deny him even a shot on goal. And they're getting really physical. Remember, we were very physical in that first half. We kind of got away from it, and now we're getting back to it. Number 28 there, Ken Bader. Martinez looking for a whistle just about every time he's down on the right half of the field. But what he really needs are some more teammates up front with him to pass to. Ball across midfield. Out of the circle. Now rolls over to the far side. Renner comes across to take it. Now he's got to slow it down. And actually, he'll just boot it up across the back line there on the far side. And the ball will belong to Cedar River. Christensen again, number 37. Look for some help, gets it here on the near side. Now across midfield, Cedar River. Extreme getting back, Memke. Memkin, sorry. There's a shot on goal, gonna be just wide. Cedar River with an opportunity right there to tie this match. And that shot just wide of the net. Coming up on the midway point here in this second half, just about 20 minutes in. We've played 19 minutes now here in this second half. Number 21 there with the footer. Charles Barden, ball out here on the near side. Jordan Diana, number two, to put it in play. And I think we have substitution on the far side for the extreme, and we do. Tito Texidor coming out, we know that. And there's number four in for the extreme, Matthew Scourin. And now the extreme really spreading the field open. As they've got 20 minutes to go, they've got the one goal lead. Frerix, number four. Scourin, center pass. Oh, number 12. 
Drew Russell nearly there to take that shot, but it's cleared out before he can. That was a nice job, though, by Cedar River. And the extreme just continue to show a great defense out there. Not giving Cedar River much. They really can't make any mistakes. They're not getting any breaks and all that because this is one fun defense here by the 91 Extreme White Squad. Whistle there before the shot. Pecos Park here in Phoenix. Gorilla with the kick. We talk about that extreme defense. Well, Cedar River squad has been very good on defense as well, especially since they allowed that first goal. The only goal there in that first half. They've really clamped down. Number 21 coming over, Barden. Barden wants to move into the middle, but he'll have the ball taken away, surrounded by two white jerseys. Christopher Crone, number 35, in the circle is Renner. Now he goes back into his own backfield. Cauldron. Martinez, there's a shot towards the net. That's going to be wide, but we had a whistle before that. And I believe it was an offsides against the extreme. Kick across midfield. Davis, or uh, Drew Russell, that is. Number 12, Martinez coming over for the extreme. Can't get to the ball. Number 35 now, Christopher Crone with it. Crone with a nice, strong kick well across midfield. Header by Jordan Diana. Now Renner in the middle. Into the backfield again of this Phoenix team. Russell again down the middle, number 12. Can he get a shot with the right leg? High into the air goes the keeper, Ortiz, to make the stop. And that ball was heading for the back of the net. It would have been low enough. It would have landed between the outstretched hands of the keeper and that bar. And saving a goal right there, Fernando Ortiz, the keeper for the extreme. Drew Russell with a right-legged kick from outside. Couldn't have placed it much better. And it had some zip on it, too. Shot towards the net. Acrobatic shot, but right there, Joel Gorilla making the save. And as he rolls it out here to the near side just a little bit too much, it goes out and will belong to the extreme. And number two, Jordan Diana will put it into play. Matthew Scour in there, number four, looking for it. Goes to Martinez. Back to Diana. Now Diana sends it soaring over to the far over towards the net. And header by Cedar River allows their keeper, Gorilla, to come out and make the stop. Number four, Joe Frax gets there in time. It's crossfield pass, still rolling to the far side and goes out and will belong to the extreme.
Number seven again, Christensen up towards the net. Keeper comes out, clears it away, down the middle. Christensen again to the ball, just can't get there in time, but his teammate comes over, helps out. Russell there, number 12. And finally cleared away by the extreme over across midfield. We've got under 15 minutes to go here in the match. A 1-0 lead for the extreme. Near the back line, can they make their way to the net? Now it's out, shot on goal, deflected by the keeper. Right there, a nice save by the defender as number four. Natty Scour and took a shot at the empty net, but the defender right inside, clears it away. Nice job by the Cedar River squad. Ball rolls over to the far sideline. Save from going out. Ben would have been probably a corner kick for the extreme if it had gone out. Nice job right there by the Cedar River defense on that last exchange, helping out their keeper, Gorilla. Jordan Diana hitting the ground here. Christensen. Ian Christensen is going to have to be watched here for years to come. Very heady player. Smart, fast. Keeper comes out. Gorilla makes a save. Christensen in the middle of the field. Ortiz the only one there. He'll scoop it up. Actually, he'll just keep it on the ground. Finally picks it up there. Thirteen minutes to go. Unofficially, of course, here in the match. A 1-0 lead for the extreme. Cedar River in deep there, but just didn't have enough players up front. Extreme with it on the far side. It goes out and should belong to Cedar River. And Ben Liesfeld coming out for number three, Pat Montag. Christensen trying to get around number 23. Samuel Slyer, but he really grabbed Ian. Referee there with the whistle. Christensen still on the ground. Finally up. Be nice if a teammate or two came over and asked him what was up. Finally now. They come on over. And when he was held there, it kind of brought down. I think he might have twisted an ankle. Christensen not happy with the referee. Felt there should have been a little more penalty there. And I might agree with him, actually. Uh, Samuel Slyer really just took him down. Just grabbed him, really. So he couldn't get around. Because Slyer was beaten there. Left-legged kick. Deflected away by the keeper. Ortiz with a great save. But they're not out of the woods yet. The corner kick here for Cedar River. Here on the near side. kick on the long side over to the far side and it's pushed out on the header and that will be a goal kick for the extreme coming up on 10 minutes to go here in the match Fernando Ortiz there with the goal kick So as the action continues here, the ball in the right half of the field. Christensen again hits the ground as he collides with Jordan Diana. Ball is out off the extreme. 
Christensen wants to get out and run. Moves here to the near side. Teammate helps out. Number 21, Barden. Barden into the middle. Oh, as it comes back here, saved. Barden gets to the ball. Now he's around two defenders. They pushed him out of the way. Across midfield and out off of number 17, Jeffrey Martinez. And the ball belongs to Cedar River here on the near side. They wanted a handball, no such call. Reed Galbraith. Under 10 minutes to go in the match. Ball rolls over to the far sideline. Now across midfield. Again, physical play and a trip. And that's going to be a yellow card issued to the extreme right in front of the referee. Definite yellow card right there. Referee right in front of it. Not sure. You know, there was some... I think that was number 10, Philippe Carrasco for Cedar Rapids. He started complaining as he hit the ground, and that's when the referee started walking over there with the yellow card. But I think he was coming out with that yellow card anyway. And another extreme player this time. It looks like number 17, Jeffrey Martinez on the ground. <laughs> So Martinez being helped off the field. And we'll start play again. Jordan Diana to the net. And on the header, it bounces into the hands of the keeper, Gorilla. So we've had a couple of injury here. A couple of injuries. We had Christensen a little bit earlier and then Martinez. So we probably will have some extra time, some injury time played after the 40 minutes here of this first half. So we might have an extra two or three minutes. Obviously up to the referee. And it's still only a one nil lead for the extreme. And the extreme, I think here towards the end of this match, getting a little frustrated. I think maybe they feel they should have put some more points on the board against this squad. And anything can happen. Extreme coming out with it. Center pass. They were looking for Renner, but it's off the mark, and the keeper is able to haul it in. Joel Gorilla. Giving chase number 28, Ken Bader, but the ball is out. Renner running the ball down on the far side. It goes out and it's off of the extreme. Ball coming across midfield. Renner with the left leg shot on goal. It's going to be high over the net. Into a grip of girls there in yellow. And a goal kick for Cedar River. We've played 35 minutes here in this second half. So unofficially, we've got five minutes to go. 
We'll probably have some time put on the clock after that for the injuries. Renner again, shot across midfield. Or oh, there's Renner there. Whoa, like his twin brother over there on the other side. Not sure who that was. It wasn't number six, Manti Cauldron, was it? Guess it could have been. Little Matthew and Claude, you don't look that much alike, so. I know, there's number 23, Schleier. Might have been Schleier on that pass. So the ball out on the far side. Again, near the corner, both teams running it down. Let's see who gets there. And right now it's Cedar River and it's off of, well, Cedar River thought it was their ball, but it's off of the black squad. So the extreme with the ball. Ball just below midfield. And now time's starting to run down as Cedar River really needs to get the ball up towards the net. They trail by a goal. Oh, from behind, it hits fall grade number 12. He didn't know where the ball was. It had gone straight up in the air. He looked back. And before he could look back the other way, it comes down, hits him in the back of the head. Renner over to the far side. Now he streaks down the middle. Coming up on the 77th minute of play here in the match. A 1-0 lead for the extreme. Shot on goal blocked by Christensen. Kibbers here on the near side. Number seven. Nice little touch pass downfield to Christensen. Back into the middle just a little bit too much. And number 12 there, over to the far side. That's Sean Falgren, of course. And the ball is out. Just a few minutes to go. And let's see if the extreme can hold on to this 1-0 lead. Shot towards the net, and right there, Gorilla takes care of it. Ball in the circle. Now on the left half of the field. Falgren. Ball is out on the far side. As we've hit now the 79th minute of play. So the extreme will put the ball into play right at midfield on the far side. Ball knocked out by Cedar River. Christensen with the header over to the far side again. And right now, Cedar River really has to be concerned with getting the ball up across midfield. They don't have much time left to get a tying score. They've got to find a way to break through this defense here. They're probably going to go with some long cross field passes. 
And that's a good start there by Gorilla, the keeper, but it just angles out on the far side, and the ball will belong now to the extreme. So unofficially, we've hit the 80-minute mark now. So it's all up to the referee. Ball on the ground. Farrick's getting to it. Number four, Joe. Can he move or weave his way through the defense? No defense. Clears it back here towards midfield. Kibbers, number seven, tries to move downfield, but has the ball taken away. Renner here on the near side, saves it from going out, puts it into the middle, over to the keeper, Gorilla. Gorilla clears it over to the far sideline. They've got to move it out of their backfield. They can't just play keep away here in the backfield. They've got to push the ball up, up towards midfield. Carrasco, number 10, Felipe. Or it's Felipe, I should say, Felipe Carrasco. And now it's Cedar River moving in deep into the backfield. Let's see if they get a shot here. They've got the corner kick. Kibbers, number seven. Here it comes with the right leg. Cleared away here by the extreme. Rolls here to the near side and nobody near it. And the ball belongs to Cedar River. Quickly they get it into play. They know there isn't much time to go. We played now 82 minutes up towards the net. Can Christensen get a shot? He's surrounded by white jerseys. Russell comes over to help out. So does number three, Pat Montag. Still can't get a shot. There's the whistle. That's the end of this first round match. What a match it was, too, as a 91 extreme white with a score in the first half. Hold on as they shut out Cedar River here. Excellent play by both of these squads. A final score again, the 91 extreme white won. And the Cedar River Soccer Association from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, nil. Great game. It was my pleasure to bring it to you. We hope you enjoyed it. Until we see you again next time, be safe and have a great day, everybody. Hi, I'm Claude Renner from the 91 Extreme, uh, SC Del Sol. And we're here at the Presence Day Tournament, um, and I'm going to introduce you to my team. All right, guys, uh, I need you to say your name, and no or name, number, and position. I'm Sean Foggin, number 12, and I play center mid. I'm Kyle Sadler, I'm number 7, and I play left midfield. I'm Matt the guy I play right midfield, and I'm number 10. So, uh... Sean, how'd you feel about the victory this morning? Uh, felt pretty good. Um, played well, passed the ball well. Just an overall good atmosphere, great game. That's nice. Uh, Kyle, uh, what was it like to play against your old coach again? It was good. Felt good to beat his team. Very nice. And uh, Edder, what was your best play of the game? I can't remember. I had a lot of them. <laughs> had a lot of them? Yes. That's good. All right. Thank you, Kip. Thank you. Oh, thank you guys for. Uh, uh, thank you, Claude. Thank you, Claude. El Capitan. Yeah. I love you, Claude. Okay. All right, we need your name, your number, and position. Uh, Jordan Diana, two, right back. 
I'm Matt Scarron, number four, right midfielder. I'm um, Zach Souls, number eight, and I play left mid. Uh, Jordan, who, who do you feel is going to win the World Cup this summer? Brazil. <laughs> Brazil. Well, and why? Because they're good. Good reason. Uh, Matt, how long have you been playing with this team? Uh, since I was six, I think. <laughs> how do you feel the team's doing this season? We're doing really good. This is our best season, I think. Ever? Ever. <laughs> That's nice. And Zach, uh, was there any particular player today on the other team that uh, you didn't like? I don't know. I didn't play, so <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> what about the blonde kid? I don't know. He looked pretty cool. Uh, he was pretty cool. Thank the kids again. And uh, thank you guys for. You're welcome. Class. Yeah. Ten. All right, guys. I need you to say your name, number, and position. Oh, I'm Tali Gibson. I'm forward midfield. Uh, Sam Schleyer, number 23, defense. Jeffrey Martinez, number 17, uh, forward. And uh, Dirley, what high school do you go to? Uh, North Virginia. Do you like it? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, Sam, what's your favorite soccer memory? Uh, when I scored two years ago against CDO, it was beautiful. Beautiful. I actually remember that. That was a very beautiful goal. And Jeffrey, what's your favorite pro team? My favorite pro team is uh, Chivas, the Mexican team. Chivas? Yeah. Are they any good? Yeah, they're good. They're the best team in Mexico. Nice. Well, thank you guys. Thank you. All right, boys, we need your name, number, and position. I'm James Cohn. I'm number nine, and I play center back. All right, I'm Quentin Memkin. I'm number five, and I play center back. Number one in goalie. What's your name? Oh, man. oh. <laughs> Fernando Ortiz. <laughs> no. All right. Now, James, uh, what, what school do you go to? I'm at Brophy Prep right now. So. Oh, I heard that's the best school in the state. I mean, nation. Oh, Q, Q uh, what, how'd, how'd you feel about your goal today? It's pretty sweet. It's like my fifth one of the year. It's pretty good. Five. That's awesome. I don't know. Maybe like four. But four. Probably. Okay. Uh, Fernando, what was the best save you've ever made? I don't know. Today in the morning? I don't know. Talk about it. Just threw myself. That's it. Threw yourself with the ball? Yeah. Was it a diving save? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. All right. Thanks for your time, boys. See you later, homie. Oh, yeah. Tito, have you gone? What? Oh, uh, we need your name, number, and position. Uh, I'm Obed Fuentes. I play attacking midfielder, and I'm, I'm number 16. I'm Tito Texador. Uh, I'm number 18, and I play left back and left midfield. That's nice. Obed, I'm just wondering, how's school going? It's going great. It's cool. That's awesome. Uh, Tito, what's your favorite international team and why? Uh, Barcelona, because, well, it's Spain, because, yeah. Are you from Spain? I'm from Puerto Rico. And but you're Spanish? Like, yeah, exactly. Cool. All right, boys, thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> so, Claude, how was your goal today, this morning? It was pretty sweet. It was off a corner, you know. Up high, a little header. I'm supposed to be on the front post, but I just saw the ball coming. Faded back a little bit, headed it, went top corner. It was pretty nice. Pretty nice. Congratulations. Thank you. That, that was beautiful. Uh, this is SC Del Sol. We're, we're the best team on earth. Thank you. <laughs>